Now, if you want one single mic to be doing all of this, as a boom mic, as an on-camera mic, as a mic that is attached by USB to your desktop or laptop computer to be doing streaming, podcasting, web meetings, as well as voiceovers, well, watch this episode to find out. Hi, it's Colin again, and today I'll be reviewing the Rode VideoMic NTG hybrid microphone. Now, this is a microphone that we use here at Learns for everyday shoes as a backup mic for its reliability and really its ease of use. Now, as I mentioned, the VideoMic NTG can be used uh, in various settings. We don't do this very often, but uh, the mic can actually be configured as a boom mic for our sound man or sound woman uh, to be used during our shoots. A second more common use for the video mic NTG, well at least for here at Lens is that we use it on our B cam as a backup mic. And also uh, we use it to mount it on cam B to sync the audio uh, with the audio recording of that in cam A so that uh, when our editors have the footages from both cams, uh, they know how to sync up the audio. Well, a third way that I personally like to use the video mic uh, NTG4 is to connect it by USB to my laptop. And that way, I can use this mic as a very quality audio input for my web meetings. Now, there are two physical buttons and one rotary knob on the mic itself. So, the knob uh, adjusts the audio gain manually and it's pretty intuitive. The first button is actually the power button which turns on or off the mic. And in any case, the mic will turn on automatically when it senses the connection via USB or the 3.5mm audio jack. Pressing this button once will engage the minus 20dB pad. Uh, another press will engage the safety channel, which I will not go into the technical details. A final press will disengage both functions. Now, there is a third LED light here, which essentially is the uh, peak, the DB peak warning light, which will illuminate red when the mic's internal preamp is clipping. So at that point, the pad should be engaged. Now, the second button essentially is the filter control. Pressing it once will enable the 75 Hz uh, high pass filter, Pressing it again will enable the 150Hz high pass filter. Of course, uh, both of these can be switched off. Now, third function that uh, this button is essentially to turn on the high frequency boost. So, of course, this can be used in conjunction with the high pass filters. So, of course, another press uh, or long press of this button will disengage the high boosts. Now, at this point of the video, let me share two things that I really like about this uh, mic. The first one is essentially uh, the way it connects to devices. Uh, in addition to the USB cable, this mic can be connected by a 3.5mm uh, audio jack. That means this mic can be connected to virtually any device out there, including your phone. A second thing I like about uh, the Rode VideoMic MTG Hybrid is really the build quality. And especially we're talking about the shock absorber down here. So this shock mount or shock absorber mount uh, essentially is pretty high quality. As you can see, it's made from high quality rubber. And uh, unlike uh, some of those podcasting mics or voiceover mics that has a very wearable rubber mount, this one looks like it will last forever. Now, on to one thing that I don't really like about this mic. Uh, well, it is versatile, yes. But when we use it as a shotgun mic on board our B cam, right, at the kind of distance that we normally shoot, which is roughly about three meters, as near as two meters away from the subject, well, the mic really cannot be used for crisp and clear audio recording because uh, the echo will be a little bit too much. Although it is really good and versatile uh, as a shotgun mic, uh, I recommend that it be used around two feet away from the subject. So what do you think about the Rode VideoMic NTG Hybrid? Well, let us know in the comments below. In the meantime, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook channels. Well, my name is Colin and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.